Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create or set up enhanced ports in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. I'll be showing you step by step process. So let's get to it. Here is uh, my server where I have installed uh, AOS, and here is the client. I'm sysadmin. In order to to see where the in order to create or set up, uh, first you need to go in the view called System Administration. If you are not at System Administration view, you can click right here and go to System Administration and under setup under system administration setup and you go service and application integration framework click on inbound port this will open up all the ports that's currently being used or installed or configured on your um, system what we're going to do in this demo is create a new uh, enhanced port uh, that enhanced port is going to do some validation financial document or financial budget or whatever um, is your requirement you can uh, create a enhanced port for that and we'll be going through some of the uh, uh, some of the uh, settings of the newly created uh, port so we're gonna click on new name your port here and description you can put whatever the description whatever this port is going to do validate financial budget notice up here that uh, it's enhanced uh, category is always uh, enhanced if you use uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, client thin client and uh, create ports here uh, all the basic ports are being created from AOT environment so what we're gonna do is uh, notice up here adapter is uh, net TCP uh, if you wanted to change the adapter if you're um, if you click up here you'll see all the four adapters that offered in uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX so whatever this port is going to do you're going to actually um, uh, select the adapter uh, specific to that particular port so uh, for me it's a uh, net TCP IP that's fine uh, here up up here that uh, what kind of service what you want this service to do you click on service operations and here are different uh, um, built-in uh, service operations that you can choose what we're gonna do is go in finance if you look at it we have a, a remaining services operation uh, financial balance service get balance you can do get balance or you can do validate budget account so this is this is what we're gonna do whatever the service that you wanted to uh, select this service to do you need to put it in selected service operation this is the operation that your service is going to do so you're gonna go ahead once you selected your basic service operations you're gonna go ahead and click close so as soon as you click close you will notice that uh, it says that it has created it um, and uh, you can activate it now let's go through some of the option before we um, uh, activate this port um, processing option is uh, uh, you can look at this uh, continuous and then if you click on this there's a halt or rollback or whatever uh, you wanted to do uh, whatever uh, processing that you wanted to do you can define it right here and in troubleshooting uh, there is a lobbying logging disabled you can enable the logging what it'll do is uh, all the operation activities happened on this particular ser uh, uh, services all the logging will be logged in a log table and that log table is uh, AIF log table uh, in in database and you can query or you can also look at the troubleshooting right here if uh, this port is not doing what you what you have it created to do uh, you can look at all the logging here, but keep in mind that by, uh, by default the logging is disabled once you activate it the logging is going to be enabled and you can go ahead and um, Disable the logging if you want to up here the uh, enhanced ports uh, there uh, you can uh, specify the Restriction to the partition you can do a lot more to the security So what we're gonna do right now is uh, click on activate. It's gonna take a little bit of time My system is not all that configured all for uh, to run Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, efficiently it's gonna take a little bit time for me uh, for this service to activate and I'm gonna go ahead and click activate it It's going through operation to uh, activate this 
this port after the activation is done we're going to click on that port and we're going to see that uh, uh, the url and different settings um, that we just uh, created um, that's that's on this uh, particular but particular port that we just created these are the messages while it was creating these messages are you uh, if you wanted to read these messages uh, it's an info log you can read that i'm going to go ahead and click close and as you can see the the little green uh, check bar is is here and your port is activated so um, when you click on the port it'll give you the URL and WSDL the U, uh, URI all, all the ports and dynamic uh, enhanced ports has URI so in order to do the communication it needs that so you can just uh, go ahead and quickly see that this is the URI up here this is WSDL URI so this is how you create enhanced port uh, just quickly mention that if you wanted to delete this port you won't be able to delete it until you deactivate that port so if you wanted to delete that particular port you have to deactivate it first and then you will be able to delete it if you try to delete it um, activated service is going to give you error message and I hope it helps